Henry's come to see you. My lord, I'm afraid you were right when you said these hostilities wouldn't end at Probislavitz. That comes as no surprise. What has happened? The men reported two more attacks today. <clears throat> Ah, Henry. I'm glad you're here. It seems like we'll have another task for you. Come and join us. My lord. Greetings, lad. The bandits raided a few remote hamlets, but that's the least of our worries. They also attacked Merhoyed, and that's a much more serious matter. Merhoyed? Matthias is working there. They attacked right after the battle in Pervislavitz. Bastards are probably trying to prove they're still strong. But there's a silver lining. Villagers held them off, and they even took one captive. He's wounded, and we can still interrogate him. Your graces. I hope I'm not intruding. On the contrary, Master Tobias. Unlike Bernard, you are the bearer of good tidings. Or so I gather from the coin you carry. Tell me, how many Groshen did we find in Pribislavitz? My lord, I'm sorry, but my news is no better than Captain Bernard's. These coins are very good. Uh, that is to say, well-made facsimiles, as we call them. Uh, fact what? I don't give a fact what you call them. I want to know what they're facking worth. Uh, that's just it, sir. They're worth nothing. Are you saying what I think you're saying, Master Tobias? Um... This here... Is just a pile of copper. Curva! Fuck! Plated with silver, so it's still of some worth. Mm. Curva! Fuck! Is it a lot of work to make such counterfeits, Master Tobias? I should say so, sir. Highly demanding work. Especially to make such plausible forgeries. They would need a well-hidden foundry, several craftsmen, and a source of material. But they could just be brought in from somewhere else, could they not? Well, they could, but then again, the silver mines are nearby, and these groschen seem freshly minted, so... So we are Fuck. facing a foe who has almost limitless sources of coin. That's all we need. Doppler devil. Well, gentlemen, it's clear what we have to do. Interrogate that captive bandit, find out their numbers, and promptly cut off their supply of money. Otherwise, they'll soon have another encampment. They haven't already. I doubt it, sir. Merhayed wouldn't have been able to hold them off if they did. Well, lad, I said that we'd have work for you, but it never crossed my mind there would be this much. You've already proved your worth as an investigator, so I'm putting my faith in you again. Go to Merhayed and question that captive. Find out where those brigands are hiding, how many there are, and what they're planning. And while you're at it, see if you can find some clues as to where this counterfeit coin is coming from. Very well, sir. Good luck. We're counting on you. All of us. Come report to me as soon as you know anything. I'll be at the lookout point near Talmberg. Clear off. I don't want to talk to you.
What are you doing, you murderer? What on earth are you talking about? Everyone knows you're a troublemaker. Well, I've got myself in a few scrapes, but that doesn't make me a killer. People who get in scrapes are the same ones who think nothing of stealing, and the ones who steal can kill. I saw you looting the corpse. I was looking for signs of life, to see if I could help. Ah, and could you? Unfortunately not anymore. I've got a funny feeling about you, but I can't be absolutely sure you did it. I'm relieved to hear it. And what exactly were you doing here, anyway? What are you getting at? You're carrying the murder weapon. You won't prove it's a murder weapon, but I prove I know how to use it. I could drag you off to Ratai myself and let the bailiff decide. All right, then. I did it. I didn't want to kill him. I just couldn't stop myself. There he is with money, strutting around. And I've barely got enough to keep myself fed. You don't have to tell anyone, you know. And... and you won't regret it. No need for that, I understand. Go, quick. Get out of here and don't come back. Show what you're made of! Got weak at the knees, have you? not allowed inside. If you want to go in, talk to Melikar. Good health to you. I need to talk to that captive. Sorry, no one's allowed inside. Melikar's orders. But I'm Sir Radzig Cobbler's envoy, and I urgently need to question the captive. I don't care if you're the Pope's envoy. 
I can't let you in. If you want to talk to the captive, you have to get permission from Melikar. Are you Melikar? Aye, oh, that's me. I need to speak with the prisoner. And why is that? Who might you be? Henry, envoy of Saradze Kobola. I'm here to investigate the attack. I'm sorry. I have other things on my mind right now. In case you hadn't noticed, we have pestilence raging here. And Saradze won't help us with that. Any more than he helped us when we were attacked. No news has reached Ratai of any disease here. But I'm here now, and I can help you. Hmm. Well, since you serve Sir Adzig, you might be of some use. If anyone can be. Tell me what to do. There's a stable hand living with us here, Matthias. Yes, I know him. And he knows some girl who helps out in the monastery infirmary. Your hanker, I think her name is. She might know someone to turn to. If she's actually there. Very well. I'll go to the monastery. It's probably our best hope. Thank you. At least for taking the trouble. But then, even if you cared nothing for us, the prisoner's got the pestilence too. He'll die without help. If I have to go to the monastery, I need to know as much as possible about the disease. I'll definitely need to know its symptoms. They're bound to ask me that. It's hard to say. My wife is feverish. Others have the chills. I heard some are throwing up. Others still are breaking out in sores. But why don't you see for yourself? People talk a lot and I don't know what to believe anymore. Very well. I'll make the rounds. I've daubed lime on the afflicted houses. But don't stay too long in those homes. <laughs> that I can promise you. Johanka? Uh, Henry? I'm glad to see you. Me too. I heard that you're doing well. Well, uh, that depends. You're alive. So you're doing well. I don't know if you've heard about it, but Merhoyed was attacked. Oh God! How is Matthias? Wounded in the arm. He's being brave about it, but his injury looks bad. I... need to see him. Before you go, there's something else. What? Some kind of disease has taken hold in Merhoyed. Their livestock has died off, and now the people are coming down with it too. I thought maybe someone here might know what to do. Merciful heavens. How awful. It's a good thing you've come here. If there's any hope, this is the place to find it. You need Brother Nicodemus, the monastery physician. He may know how to deal with it. Very well. I'll try to find him. Come back when you know more. Thank you, Johanka. What's happening here? Oh my god. Philip and... They're all... Yes. 
Where do you think the wounded ended up? Actually, uh, I have no idea. Well, now you know. Me and Nicodemus have been trying to keep things under control since Scalettes was raised. Just the two of us. Um, so can I help at all? Certainly. We can always use an extra pair of hands here. And it's been like that since the beginning. I was in a bad way myself back then. They took me to Ratai unconscious and I needed a healer. Hmm. How is everyone holding up? What can I do? Holding up? People here are dying, usually needlessly, and I can't do anything about it. We don't have enough food or space or anyone who's willing to help us. Doesn't the monastery care for them? They give us some food for them and a place to sleep, but I wouldn't say they help exactly. More like they just tolerate us. Do you have enough food? Enough to survive, maybe. But convalescents need feeding up. Maybe if I brought some meat, some game, that would strengthen them up. That would be a great help. Anything else you need? Look around. Well, it is a little crowded. Crowded? I've had to leave some of the sick lying in the open air, even at night. And have you seen what they're lying on? Hmm. I'll try to negotiate better conditions with the monastery. I tried that, out loud. They just nod their heads, but don't move a muscle. Hmm. Very well. And how are you doing? You're the only woman here, alone in the monastery. <laughs> Some of the monks speak to me. But other people act like I don't exist. Too bad the custodian isn't one of those. Is the custodian causing you problems? All the time. Apparently he has a wife somewhere, but that doesn't stop him. He's constantly strutting around in front of me. And, um, what else? What do you mean, what else? He's invited me to his home. I could do something about it, if, if you like. <sighs> no, I can deal with him. The last thing I need is you going around threatening people. It won't help me, and it definitely won't help the refugees. All right, that's all I need to know. Look, Henry, I know I can speak harshly, but I'm at the end of my tether. Last week, Bohoslav died. Maybe you knew him. And nobody even blinked an eye. We desperately need help. I'll do whatever's in my power. Philip, from Scalitz. Hmm. I don't see any wounds, but he's shaking terribly. Hmm. He's not reacting, but all I can see that's wrong with him is his leg. He'll be able to get out of this on his own. I'm not needed here. Christ above! I can't get a wink of sleep! What are you making such a fuss about? A fuss? Because of my leg, I have to stay here for at least another week. It hurts like fuck. And with everyone else moaning and groaning all night, I can't get any sleep. Why don't you go and lie somewhere else? I can't. Not with this leg. Maybe I can make you something to help you sleep. Oh, and for God's sake, do it quickly!
He'll be able to get out of this on his own. You're the one who's in charge of the wounded. Yes, I'm the Infirmarius here. Time was I only had a few elderly monks who couldn't walk to take care of. Now I have this mess to deal with. Monks so old they can't hold themselves up with their own legs. Oh, if that were the only bodily function they could control. But I shouldn't talk like that. It's a blessing to live to such an age. Some kind of disease has taken hold in Merhoyed. Your hanker said that you might be able to advise. A disease, you say? How intriguing. Yes, yes, it's very interesting, but can you help these people? I can't say at this point. I need to find out a little more. Tell me, has the whole village come down with it? No, I mean, not yet. Several households have, around half the village. Mehoyed? Isn't there a stud farm there? And what of the animals? Did they get infected too? Yes, there's a stud farm. And they've all died off. The horses, the cattle, chickens, and now it's got to the people. That is most intriguing. What are we to do about it? Do you know the symptoms? Yes, more or less. Excellent. I have several extensive volumes here in the library. Describe the epidemic, including the symptoms, and we could take some guidance there. Can you read? Yes, I can. Excellent. So follow me to the scriptorium. So, where shall we start? Evidently there's something amiss in the digestive tract. In the what? The digestive tract, Henry. Um, right. <sighs> the trouble lies between the mouth and the arsehole. Uh-huh. Sure. Just so. We can rule nothing out at this stage. You look in the Breviarum to Cygnus Causa. It's a renowned manuscript from Salerno, written by one Johann of St. Paul. But I don't know Latin. Fortunately for you, our brother librarian is translating these momentous medical works into the common tongue. So you can still be of use. Study the breviary carefully and compare the symptoms with the recorded cases. That will guide us. I'll try the proven classics. Avicenna and his Canon Medicinae and Galen's Magnum Opus, the Ars Medicinalis. way did the Jerome have taken them out again? I think I have it. Yes? And what do you make of it? It's turned out to be the worst. The plague. Really? That sounds rather unlikely. But if Master Johann of St. Paul's says so, who am I to contradict him? We shall have to prepare some medicine at once. I could help with that. Really? Yes. I know my way around the alchemistic arts. An ordinary fellow who knows the arts of physic? Who would have thought it? Excellent. I'll give you the recipe. And you have my permission to make use of the monastery laboratory. I'll get started right away. I, meanwhile, shall head straight to... Uh, where was it again? Merhoyed.
Oh, yes, Mehoyed. I'll take Yohanko with me. She has no equal in caring for the sick. Once you have the medication ready, hurry after me. Thank you, Brother Nicodemus. Good luck, Brother Nicodemus. And to you, Henry. Hal? You're a sight for sore eyes. What are you doing here? It's good to see you too, Matthias. Sir Radzig sent me here to investigate the raid. Sir Radzig? Looks like you've come up in the world, mate. You're here as his envoy? He took me into his garrison. Hal the blacksmith's boy in the service of his lordship. Who'd have ever thought it? My luck hasn't been so good. You survived. That's something to thank God for. True enough. If I were in your shoes, I'd get the hell out of here. There's some disease spreading. Disease? Folk are saying it's the plague. Whatever it is, it's bad. It started the day after the raid. First the horses got sick, then other animals, and now people are falling ill too. Damn! About this sickness... What are the signs that someone's getting sick? Well, I don't leave the house much, but folk complain of fever and shakes. Some are throwing their guts up, and others are spewing from the other end. Does anyone die from it? Aye, old Verba. Although he was already on his last leg, so no one knows for sure if it was the plague that got him. Either way, the animals are dropping like flies, and people will end up the same for sure. Who's ill now? I don't know. What well, with my arm the way it is, I don't go outdoors much. But I know Melikar and Straw have sick ones at home. When did this plague start? The day after the raid. The horses were lying down in the stable, so we knew something was up. By afternoon, they were all dead. Then other animals started getting sick, one after the other, and then people. Can I ask you a bit about Merhoyed? I haven't been here long enough to learn much, but ask away. Tell me about the raid. What do you want to know? I hear one of the raiders was taken captive. I'd like to question him. Why, old Melikar let him have it over the head with a flail, and now he's locked up in the barn. But be careful. Why's that? That fucker killed young Straw, and his old man's sharpening his sickle for him. Melikar still hasn't decided what to do with him. I can tell you what he'll do with him. He'll hand him over to Sir Radzig's envoy. Me. I doubt Melikar will let him go willingly. The folk here are baying for blood. Lives have been lost. First the raid, and now this plague. God knows what they'll do. Can you describe the raiders? I don't know. They came at dusk, so you couldn't see their faces. About 20 of them. They weren't humans, though. They spoke Czech. You talked to them? No, no. They were shouting at us. They were very sure of themselves to begin with, but when we hit them in the woods, they didn't look so brave. I know you've got courage enough for any man, but how did a bunch of untrained villagers manage to hold off armed bandits? One of the village lads caught sight of them coming through the woods and told Melikar who roused the whole village, and everyone grabbed what they could. Pitchforks, axes, flails, and we went out to face them. What? You mounted an assault against them? Aye, and that was the key. It was the last thing those whore sons expected. A few of them still managed to break through to the village, probably wanted to torture. But even the women here were armed with what they could find, and they took the bastards by surprise. <laughs> 